Are we together? I hope you are learning the labor of active service. First Timothy 5 18. Let's hurry up. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 18. First Timothy 5 18. For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treaded upon the corn. And then it says, The laborer who is worthy of wages, not the hungry, the laborer. You have to be a laborer to be worthy of wages. Are you seeing why many people are not receiving the wages? Because they are not laborers. I tell you the truth. When we walk, we walk because we love God. But we also walk because we are laborers. There are consolations to this work. There are consolations to this work. Are we together? As a laborer in God's vineyard, let me tell you. There are some things God will never allow you to look for again. If you become a true laborer. You don't know the profit in serving God. We don't serve God for money, for cars, and for things. But there is a way a man can serve God. And God will say, because you have served me like this, you will not serve any other thing else. My jealousy will forbid you from following that regular routine towards making life happen. I know what I'm saying. And you don't have to be a preacher. Someone can serve God in a way that God will say, Mama, because you serve me, the least of your children will be a president. That I will never allow mediocrity dwell in this family again. It is a covenant. You have made room for me. When the woman in Shunem made room for the prophet, she was not looking for anything. It was sincere honor without string attached. But the prophet said, no, God does not work like this. You cannot be that kind to me providing a table what do you want should i talk to the the, the, the the president the governor for you say no i live among my own people and then the servant now whispered and said this woman is without child and he said according to the time of life and that was it the woman didn't even say amen she didn't say be it unto me according to your word he just said you will embrace a son there are things you may never have to pray for, for yourself, when you are in active service. Now, you can be on a job because you are looking for salary. Nothing wrong with that. You can be in a business because you want to be rich. You can be a preacher simply because you went to a seminary and you have to do something to justify your going to a seminary. All of those things are not wrong in themselves, but none of them make you a laborer. It is the consciousness that I am in partnership with God. That's why the word koinonia, you see, is intimacy, partnership. I am in partnership with God. Not just saying it, partnership with God. Hallelujah. I never travel alone. I never do the things that I do alone. No, I can fail as a person, but me and God cannot fail together. Honestly, no. No. Businessman, once you remain a businessman, things may not be working well, but become a laborer, a co-laborer with God by defining your purpose for that business that it is beyond profit. It is profit for Jesus, profit for the kingdom, profit for your glory. You have brought God into that equation. And when God comes in, whatever is not him must give way. Then you will see wisdom beyond your imagination. You will see favor beyond your imagination. How do you think we're able to do the things that we're doing today for Jesus? It is not just man's ability and capacity. No. There is a side to this equation that I don't have a hand in. It is because I'm not the only one. You can clearly see my limitation as a man. That you started from here and this is where you have stopped. But if the result extends this much, there is an invisible hand continuing it. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, men will look at your life and they will literally see your contribution and they will see the God factor too. Nobody will confuse the hand of God upon your life. Nobody will credit your results entirely to your efforts. It will be so spectacular, it will be clear that you were in partnership with God. Ministry in partnership with God. Business in partnership with God. Parenting in partnership with God. Please sit. Please sit. 
We labor with God in prayer and intercession over his program. We labor with God as we commit to active service. Number three, the third way we labor with God is through the labor of providing help. The labor of providing help. The labor of providing help. Help in all its ramification. Financial help. Help in terms of access. We labor with God. We are co-laborers with God. And I want you to listen. When we are involved in providing help, any kind of scriptural help that becomes an advantage to God's program is your laboring with God. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 23. 2 Corinthians 8, 23. It says, Whether any do require of Titus that he is my partner. Is that in your Bible? He is what? He didn't say he's my son. He said he is my partner and fellow helper concerning you or our brethren the messengers of the churches. He called Titus his partner and fellow helper. Partner and fellow helper. Can I tell you this? I found a few interesting scriptures that I want you to look at. Very profound and interesting scriptures. Do you know that in God's program, not everyone is ordained to be a helper to you but that those who have been called by God to be helpers are actually real people and they have names give us numbers chapter 1 and verse 5 numbers chapter 1 and verse 5 go ahead and read one to read and these are the names of the men that shall stand with you stop there read it again and these are the names of the men. So there are men ordained by God to stand with you. As you are standing with God. There are men ordained. Did you hear what I said? It is not just money. There are men ordained by God to stand with you. Some of them in high places. To make the job easy for you. There are men except you are not a laborer. If it is true you are a laborer. There are men ordained. The men are not invisible. They have names. Give us that scripture again. I saw this scripture in April. And I saw it in a dream. These are the names of the men. I've never even seen the scripture myself. It was from a dream. The names of the men that shall stand with you. They are everywhere. They have names. Meaning you can call them. They have names. Some are in America. Some are in Russia. You may not know them, but God knows them. They have been mandated to stand with you. Elijah, go to Zarephath. I have commanded a widow. It's not a suggestion. The woman sounded like she did not know, but God does not lie. I have commanded a helper. Man of God, if you are a laborer, you should never serve with your hand empty. It's a lie. There are names of people commanded by God to stand with you. Except you are not a laborer in truth. I'm not talking of manipulating people. Are we together now? And you don't have to be a preacher. All men need helpers. When Jesus walked upon the earth, he needed helpers. Can I show you something? Help us. You need help us so. This will be one of our major prayers. Acts chapter 19 and verse 22. The third way to labor with God is that your life and all about you provides help for this kingdom come project. Go ahead and read. It said, give us NIV. NIV. NIV will give me what I'm looking for. Go ahead. One to read. He sent two of his helpers, Timothy and Erastus, to Macedonia while he stayed in the province of Asia 
a little longer. Who did he send? Two of his helpers. Not just sons. Helpers. I have taught you the ministry of help here. That the assignment of help is to make things possible and to make things easy. The assignment of help, assistance at any level, financially or otherwise, is to make things possible and to make things easy. If your rent is 1 million naira and I give you 900,000, what have I done? I have helped you. I have made that rent payment possible or at least made it easier. Am I right on that? If you're on your way trekking and your trekking will take 30 minutes and I give you a lift, compressing that time to five minutes, I have provided help, made arriving your destination possible and made it easier. Let me tell you why life is hard for many people. Because you have not found helpers. Or because you have not become a laborer deserving of helpers. The third way to be part of this collaborative ministry with Jesus is the labor of providing help. Can I show you one more scripture? You know where? Eh? When the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, you will now check the Bible and you will see things that you have not seen before. Do you know in preparing these notes, the Holy Spirit opened my eyes and I saw where Paul took time. If you see the long list of helpers Paul wrote, this ministry of Paul that we say two-thirds of the New Testament, you need to know how many people helped him. You want to see it? Romans chapter 16. Let's begin from verse 1. The names are hard. I won't attempt. I will just be jumping the names. So I'm telling you in advance now. Are we together? One to go. I commend, no, 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 well, I would start, if, if I say we should do it together, there will be a lot of confusion because there are plenty names there. Yet they are all helpers. I commend you to Phoebe, our sister. Um, let me look at this from, okay, go ahead, go ahead, give it to us. I commend you to Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church. Are you seeing all those names now? They've started, oh, verse 2. That ye receive her, listen, 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 listen. That ye receive her in the Lord. He's, come, he's recommending the lady now. As becometh saints. And that ye assist her in whatsoever business she had need of you. For she had been a succora of many. Even myself I benefited from her. This is the apostle speaking. He said this woman is coming to your city. The same way she has invested help, make sure you help her too. Whatever she needs to be effective, provide for her. Because this woman has been a succora of many. He says, even me have benefited. Next verse. There are other people to greet. Not everybody. Greet Priscilla and Aquila. Who are they? My helpers. Feel free to greet anyone you meet on the road, but from me, greet Priscilla and Aquila. Why? Because they are helpers in Christ Jesus. Verse 4. Who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. This is the extent of their help. Verse 5. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. He says, salute my well-beloved. Look at that name. Look at that name for God's sake. Yeah, that is the name of a helper. So it doesn't matter the name of the helpers. If they are helpers, it will be there. Who is the first fruit of Achaia unto Christ? Verse 6. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. Are you seeing all the people he's greeting? Let's just stop at verse 6. You can read down. This man took a list. Your busy apostle took a list of noting certain people. The people he called were not just apostles. There. He was calling helpers. People who had made his weakness easy. This is, this is something that the body of Christ does not understand. We have dealt with manipulations. We have dealt with the subject of, you know, 
you know, fraudulent activities, but to stop there is dangerous. The church must be educated to know that being a co-laborer with God means that you must stand to make his work easy in every ramification. Let me tell you sincerely, and I submit to you with all humility, I have seen pastors and I've seen people who love Jesus Christ with all their hearts. And some of them have seen their lives and their living conditions. And it's a very terrible thing. I've seen their wives. I've seen their children. And sometimes you are wondering, the people that they labor over, is it that the people are not thoughtful to know that I have a God-ordained assignment? You see, let me teach you something, dear people. And, and, and it's very uncomfortable for me, but I have to teach you because it's the truth. Any time you find yourself in a place, not just a ministry, participate in making the overall value process effective. Do not just be a bench warmer. Make sure your seed, your goodwill, your prayer, if you have influence and it can become a leverage. Are we together? The ministry of helps is not just limited to finances. That everything within your power and I bless God for great people in this ministry and in my life who have played these strategic roles. They have made the service of God easy. Several things. Right now there's the US team, Canada team. We're not there yet, but they are helpers. Laboring day and night, making things happen. There are people who have given and given and given again. Help us. The Bible talks about Uzziah. I think that should be Second Chronicles chapter 26 and verse 15 if I recall. That Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of God. It is on the strength of help that people go forward. Second Chronicles I believe 26 and verse 15. Prospered because he was marvelously helped. That he was helped until he made progress. Marvelously helped. And his fame, his name spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped till he became strong. You never become strong until you are helped. Helped in business, helped in ministry. Are we together? There are some of you here and, and I want to listen to me. Your one naira, your one dollar has never gone into the project of kingdom come. I'm teaching you this as a responsibility. It is a very bad attitude. Now, you don't have to, but if you love Jesus and you are trained to be a responsible believer, you learn this. No kingdom program should happen within a ministry, within a life, within a vessel you are part of. As an individual, I have seeds that I've sown for Sound of Revival, US, Canada. Are we together? UK, I have seeds that are prepared for our November conference coming. It does not matter that I'm a man of God. It does not matter that I lead this ministry. Obedience is obedience. Disobedience is disobedience. Kingdom principles are kingdom principles. Beyond a man of God, I'm a co-laborer with God. This is the reason why you see God continues to do the things that he's doing. Helps. Haven't obtained help from God. I continue this day. It takes help to continue. Are we together now? Yes. Sometimes, honestly, and I'm saying this not, not to spite you. I love you with all my heart. But sometimes I sit down and I think to myself, if I was depending on men for tea and bread, maybe one day I would just come here and get a chair and sit down and start crying. And just sit down and say, you people, is it that you have not? <laughs> you are givers, don't worry. I know you are givers. All right? God is helping you. But I'm teaching you, the truth is still the truth. And some of you have money, which, is, which makes it worse. Don't say you love Jesus if your seed is not part of his program. When you love, you give. If you cannot give seeds, you can give access. Access. 
if it takes 10 minutes for a job to be done and under your influence it can be done in two minutes without compromise and become an edge for the gospel you have provided helps are we together yes so many believers do not know that this is a way we labor with God we labor with God I remember a woman who humorously sent me a text and said apostle you are coming to Canada and an, an elderly mother in fact perhaps she's even watching now and she said please I'm ready to provide your meals and all of that and I just laughed to myself I said no there are younger people how how do, will I be so stupid to allow a woman the age of my grandmother to be cooking for me while I'm there I want to live long <laughs> are we together rather I should be sowing into her life to bless her but there are some of you Jesus is passing it's none of your business Jesus needs a boat it's none of your business okay he has caught the fish help him and bring it to the boat it's none of your business help to smoke the fish to preserve it so it, there's no decadence it's none of your business okay call other laborers to come and join it's none of your business and yet we hypocritically say Lord I love you you know even you you know and God says no this is a strange unfamiliar voice is a voice that does not participate in my program I tell you sincerely and I say this under God if I were not a preacher probably a major part of my ministry would have been providing helps to see the work of God go forward I'm looking for people who establish a business with a covenant from God they are already blessed though but they are establishing a business and the purpose is to fund the gospel it is your way of contributing to the integrity of preachers that this compromises here and there because of finances it is not just enough to point fingers let me take that responsibility and be empowered by God to see to it that succor can be provided here For as long as I live, every effort I can make financially using the bit of influence and access God has given that can make the program of God advance, I will not spare in giving my best. I have written it in songs. They have become my contemplations and my meditations. And this is my pledge unto God. If I can help somebody go to school, as a way of providing more room for laborers to come I will do that if I can help somebody to be healthier than he or she is if I can encourage a man of God who is discouraged and that can help him to stand strong in integrity I will do it listen don't just profess and shout I love you Jesus no and please by this talk don't allow any pressure I'm not putting pressure on your finances at all but it's important to learn this it's its responsibility there's not supposed to be a special time to collect offering or cut no once believers are mentored every time you hear of God's program immediately you know I am a co-laborer my best Lord is everything I have my best Lord, I give all I have to you. My best Lord, is everything I have. My best Lord, I give all I have to you. Jesus, if my vehicle can help the gospel get faster, find honor in using it. If my home can help your program to, to go places faster, let it be an honor. Jesus, if my Bible can be used as an accelerator system for the gospel. We grew up with an orientation that we did not own anything. And everything we have belongs to him. Most Christians say that. But it's just church talk they don't mean it they don't mean it sincerely let me tell you and I'm sharing with you this every major money that God brings to my life God sees my heart I already know that there is a portion of it for kingdom 
there is a portion for my well-being there's a portion for my future but there is a portion for kingdom come it is impossible for God to show me mercy and then I carry everything and open my mouth and throw it in no I love him more than that it is the reason why his hand does not spare in being outstretched because he has seen that your heart is truly with him is someone learning now yes. co-laborers God is seeking for a man who will stand in prayer and intercession for God's program God is seeking for a man who will go go in all its ramification not just talk not just confess but go making your life count God is trusting a man who becomes a helper of the war. Do you know? I'm praying that the body of Christ becomes more matured to know the things that are worthy of celebration. Things like I am a millionaire. Things like I am a billionaire. Thank God for that. Took a lot of labor to get there. But what gives value to what we have and what we are? And please listen to me. What gives value to what we have and what we are is its connection to the program of God. I am beautiful. Thank God for that. But that beauty stands useless from an eternal standpoint until that beauty can find a way of partnering with the purposes of God. I am intelligent. That intelligence is vain until that intelligence is converted and routes its way to revealing Christ. I am wealthy. That wealth will remain like that of the rich fool until it is channeled to the adequate kingdom programs that make a difference. By the privilege of God Almighty this week, as we travel, I only imagine in my heart the multitudes who will be coming to Jesus. I only imagine in my heart the truths that will penetrate through systems, moving beyond the barrier of cultures. Someone's healing, someone's deliverance, someone who is going to walk into that auditorium, sick, on that death sentence, but by the life-giving ministry of the Spirit. Are you seeing that now? Someone. But that has been possible because of intercessors. Because of we who have agreed to go and because of helpers. Determined people who are saying once it is this work of the kingdom, you will do it in comfort. You will do it in peace. Listen to me. Everybody here is in one or two or all three of these categories. If you are to be a co-laborer with God. And I'm leaving with you a consciousness today. A consciousness. Everything you do that adds to making kingdom come happen counts. And like I will always say here, one day you will stand before Jesus. And Jesus himself will look at you and say thank you for going to US. Thank you for going to Canada. And you say, but I never went there. He said, oh, no, 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 you did. When my son was there, you stood with him. Your seed took him. Your prayer preserved him. Your encouraging text message, may the Lord go with you, sir. That is helps. Don't just limit it to money. Are we together? Yes. There are people today, as we are fasting, they've been fasting too. As we are praying, they've been praying too. And some of them are not necessarily even part of the Koinonia global family. People have given. Some have, have fought that their identities be closed. But let's just be part of God's program. People have traveled even from Africa here to be helpers. Let me teach you something, believers. God is seeking for men, but not all kinds of men. The assignment of this teaching tonight is to help you become the kind of man that God will find. The kind of man 
that God will say, finally, I have found a vessel, a vessel that I can trust to pray my program down. That you can take a man of God as your intercessory project. You can take a church as your intercessory project. You can take the program of God as an intercessory project. And we may not even know you, but you are on your knees before the Father. Lord, let the gospel find its cause. Grant utterance, grant accuracy as they teach. Back up your word with signs and wonders following. And whilst you are doing that in the quietness of your room, heaven is watching you. And in heaven's mind, with everyone going to the crusade ground, you are there too. And as the souls come out, it is also credited to you in heaven. You are also a soul winner. You are also a destiny changer. But you are asking, I was not there to lead the prayer, but your prayer made it work. Somebody who would have been saved would not have come because the spirit of darkness had blinded the person. But while you were interceding, you gave a right of way for angelic forces to ward off those spirits and the person made up his mind. He said, you know what? Let me go on YouTube and boom! That was a message the person had. How about the person who has invited others be part of this? This is not just for likes and follows. Your destiny is about to change. Listen. And whilst listening, one word coming from the throne. One word. One word. Maybe one worship. Whilst you just tune in. Someone who has been broken at all kinds of addictions. But one sound of worship in heaven. Coming through a vessel. And that's the end of it. That person is broken there in the room. You may never see, but heaven has seen it. Can I tell you? Let's stop being empty professors of I love you, Jesus. And plunge ourselves to be co-laborers. When I told you you were God's investment, you received it. It brought such joy and healing. But also know that when you invest 10 naira, you invest 20 naira. You expect something to come out of it. Is that true? When he gave unto one five talent and two talent and one talent, the Bible says he returned back after a while and said, let me see my investment. If you are his investment, then you must allow yourself to bring him joy. He called the one who did not grow that investment a wicked and unprofitable servant. But to the one who brought him gain, he said, enter into the joy of the Lord. You have been captain over a few. I will make you captain over many. It is my prayer that as we do the things that we do for the kingdom, as an individual and as a ministry, we will be able to make our contribution in bringing the harvest this is what it's all about. In helping to disciple nations to take the power of Jesus. Like I would always say it, our fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses, they've done their own. There was a time they were young like us too. They had the energy. You watch their videos today and you are saying, this man who sounds quiet was this vibrant. I watched one of um, Daddy Joe's, I think uh, 1991, was it 1991 or so? One of the videos. And you could see, I mean, not youthfulness really. He was still not younger then. But I mean, you can imagine. Take joy, my king. In what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. In your ear. Take joy, my King, in what you see, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound. We have two prayer points tonight. God is seeking for men. The first prayer point, I will say it, you will say the first seated then the second prayer point you will stand the first prayer point father let your program 
of world evangelization. Let your program of territorial transformation happen through me. Let it be a reality through my life. Let it be a reality through my prayer and intercession. Let it be a reality through my participation. Let it be a reality through my providing help. Help in all its ramifications. Go ahead and pray. Following online, make sure you pray. Father, let your program, your kingdom come program, your program of world evangelization, your program of discipling nations, your program of transforming territories with the life-giving power of the Spirit. Oh, let it happen with me. Let it happen with me. Let it happen through me. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. So you are praying that the world missions, global evangelization, bringing the lost, the unsaved to the fold, discipling nations with the life-giving truths, bringing the healing power of Jesus to the nations, setting the captives free, and then transforming territories by altering the beliefs of men, helping them to live meaningful lives with dignity and honor. The Lord, this your program. Let I know that I have a role to play and my prayer is that I be part of your, your program. Through my prayer and intercession, through my participation and commitment in whatever way and then through my givings using my influence using access resources it's a very powerful prayer when you get back home i want you to still pray it again pray it pray it pray it the final prayer now you stand This one concerns you and please I want you to pray. It's an investment you are making to your destiny. That as I commit to advancing the kingdom, oh God, send me all the helpers required for my witness to be efficient. We have seen here that helpers play major irrefutable roles. You are praying, crying unto the God of the heavens that hence I am committed Committed to advancing your kingdom. All the helpers and all the helps that I need. Financial helpers. Helpers that use their influence to make life easy for me. Whilst I serve. Lord, I declare that they are sent. They come. According to Numbers chapter 1 and verse 5. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 5. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. The resource persons that will stand with you. The financial helpers that will stand with you. The leaders and gatekeepers that will stand with you. Someone pray. I have committed to serving your purposes. I have committed my life, everything that I have, to see that Jesus is revealed and glorified. Therefore, Lord, send me help. 
satisfy me early with your mercy the ideas needed let it come speedily the resources needed let it come speedily the gift of man speedily providing me access men of influence that can help redeem time men who have a voice within the cosmos whose speakings can be accelerator systems to my advancement someone pray one helper can make your witness effective one financial helper can become a leverage to your effective witness let it be a heartfelt prayer from your heart you've committed to serving his purposes now pray for help not just that you will be a helper but that you will be helped by God go ahead and pray go ahead and pray father you are seeking for a man I am available you are seeking for a man you are seeking for a preacher I am available a businessman I am available and usable available and usable in whatever way you desire to use me use me for your glory everything I have belongs to you go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus do you think God deserves your all do you think he deserves your best yes. my hallelujah belongs to you my hallelujah belongs to you it's my confession from my spirit that my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Can you sing you deserve it? Hey, you deserve it. said and done be glorified oh God all of the glory he loves you sing all of the glory all of the glory he loves to you all of the glory with someone by your left and right let's pray for the sound of revival US the sound of revival Canada that this week we have prayed but let's pray again so that seed we're praying as a global family go ahead as far as your hand can reach you're holding hands and together we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a reign of salvation let there be a reign of healing let there be a reign of deliverance let your word come with power. Let the gospel be ministered with clarity and precision. Oh, let a harvest come to Jesus. Let a harvest come. A mighty harvest. Let nations be discipled. Learning the ways of the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. You are sowing that seed. As an intercessor in the name of Jesus you are sowing that seed 
signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son go ahead all those traveling across the globe go ahead we are praying all over the u.s all over canada let there be a reign of your spirit we declare safety in flight safety for those going by road safety for those going by train by the power of the holy spirit oh and with great power the lord will give witness to the resurrection of the lord jesus let great grace be upon us let great grace be upon us pray that the anointing will be upon the airwaves that all those connecting they will receive a touch from god that no one will escape the saving power of jesus the healing power of jesus hallelujah keep your hands together we're going to pray that one prayer and then we're done we're a responsible family I'm not just traveling for a conference we are going as a family in the name of the Lord make sure that all through you participate call your loved ones you will be surprised that something you did not receive here you will receive during the conference it is not a US conference it is only happening in US it is not a Canada conference it's only happening in Canada it is God reaching the nations hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I want to sing this song just once and then we're done let the weight of your glory fall I'm not sure can you take it I don't want to shout let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall that's our prayer let it cover all the earth 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 let it cover all let the weight of your glory fall a prayer as a global family let it cover all from the United States to Canada to India to Russia to Africa Kenya Ghana Mozambique Cote d'Ivoire South Africa Nigeria let your glory blanket the entire globe time now let the weight of your glory fall signs and wonders that will shake the nations the revelation of Jesus that will enthrone him in the hearts of men grace grace abundant grace multiply grace abundant grace multiply Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight's service. You seek men. You are still seeking for men. We are available. 
we pledge ourselves again we are available and usable for your glory do with us as you please do with us as you see as you desire from our hearts we desire to see Jesus lifted Lord we pray as a global family you've granted us the mandate to the nations and this week we're taking your healing power your life giving power even to the nations Lord, we declare our frailty out of your, outside of your help and your mercy. A man cannot do these things except, he cannot receive anything except it is given to him of heaven by God. Lord, we pray that you will help us. Show us mercy. For the tens of thousands who are attending from all over the globe, all over the United States, all over Canada, we pray that flesh will not be glorified. That this will not be the ambition of a man or a ministry, but that we will hide behind the cross and see Jesus revealed in the name of Jesus. Bring great glory to your name. Bring great glory to your name. Shake the foundations of the nations in the name of Jesus. Do with us what only God can do with men. And I pray, oh God, that as we stand in prayer, as we stand in partnership all over the globe, Lord, that whatever blessings come from this conference, let it rest on everyone. Amen. Not just on Joshua Selman, not just on Koinonia in the U.S., let it rest on Koinonia Global. Amen. That everyone who is connected to this vision will also be a partaker of the blessings. We hand over this conference unto you and we declare be glorified. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. Let me make the altar call and then we're done. Thank you. Please keep standing everyone. Let the conference start with you tonight. We don't have to wait until we're, we get to the shores of the U.S. or Canada. Salvation is for all men and every way and every time is convenient. Provided there is an ear to hear, there is a heart malleable enough to make Jesus Lord, there is a preacher to announce the gospel, then God's power is available. For someone, you don't have to wait until the conference begins. Today is your day of salvation. God is looking for men. He's looking for those who will trust him enough to be recipients of his life. I'm going to count one to five. Thank you very much, my brother, for being bold to come. Wherever you are, I want you to take your bags, your Bibles, run and come and stand here. Don't be ashamed. Don't sit down calculating anything. This is the business of salvation. Your life is about to change. In the name of Jesus, every blindfold upon your eyes that is not stopping you from seeing the light of the glorious gospel, we tear it now in Jesus' name. And I declare, I begin my counting now, one to five. Please leave your seat very boldly wherever Online, Jesus is calling you. Every day is an opportunity to make Jesus Lord. One, keep coming. Koinonia, let's encourage them. Remember, we are co-laborers with Jesus. Two. Three. Come. Oh, be lifted. Keep coming. Above all other gods, we lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship you. Are you coming to Jesus? Oh, glorious God. We praise your name. We lay our crown. We lay our crowns. They are, they are coming. Let's celebrate them as they come. We lay our crown. Thank you so much, my brothers and my sisters.
thank you for heeding to this call the bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast them away perhaps you are here and you are saying apostle mine is to rededicate my heart i know that my ways are not right with god even though i remember making this decision is there room for me let me give you a few seconds to join them you belong to that second category very quickly very quickly very quickly if you're joining them walk very fast walk very fast and join them and we say the prayer together i desire to rededicate my life to jesus no playing games i want to start afresh decided to follow him wholly god bless you thank you god bless you god bless you hallelujah praise the name of the lord now before i pray the salvation prayer with them just to let us know that all of the conferences would be broadcast live on all our social media platforms yeah so we have three sessions for us us starts on wednesday the 17th so wednesday um the 17th is going to be midnight unfortunately it starts five five will be about 10 or 11 african time nigeria particularly um so you be awake and trust god clear your calendar be awake make sure you gather your family together follow is 5 p.m and then the morning we have um 9 a.m the morning session on thursday and then the final session will be 5 p.m and then just for you to know that there will be a sunday service in the u.s there will be help this woman under the anointing there will be a sunday service in the u.s exactly koinonia time so there will be a service um that that will be 11 a.m i think then it will coincide with 5 p.m here and then canada will be wednesday also wednesday um the 24th same um timing evening morning session final session and then we're on our way um back so pray for us and let's trust god for a great experience don't wait to be told it's going to be a great time for our family in u.s all is said and done we're ready and um canada we're also ready and koinonia global we're ready the body of christ we're ready to see what jesus would do and we give him all the glory in jesus name for our brothers and sisters who are here thank you very much may i request that you lift your right hand lift it high above your head as a sign of surrender say after me lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i'm a child of god i go forward ever and backward never let me pray for you my sister look at me this lady i curse that spirit now in the name of jesus be released from that demonic influence i release you now in the name of jesus let her go never to return to her again by the power that raised christ from the dead every covenant you have with darkness is broken by the blood of the eternal covenant in jesus name father thank you for these precious ones they have come declaring your lordship over their lives and upon the profession of their faith in you i declare that their sins are forgiven and that in the name of jesus abundant life is theirs this moment the power over sin satan hell and the grave is released upon you i call you the righteousness of god in christ jesus you go from glory to glory grace to grace for in jesus name we pray amen please look to my right that will be your left there are counselors waving the placard they will have a word with you and they will pray with you very quickly and you are back to your seat let's honor them koinonia thank you thank you thank you thank you
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me speak the blessing over you. We're done. In the name of Jesus, let this be a week of glory for you. Shout a believing amen. amen. Everything God has ordained for you this week, in the name of Jesus, the week will not end until every one of those blessings appear. Amen. If it is help, let it appear. Amen. If it's prosperity, let it appear. Amen. If it's restoration, let it appear. Amen. If it's wisdom, let it appear. Amen. If it's a miracle job, let it appear. Amen. In the name of Jesus, whatever needs to happen this week to move you forward that you will make constructive progress in your life your destiny and also in advancing god's program i agree with you may it happen speedily this week i declare over you that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against you will fall in judgment you have no business with death this week your loved ones are supernaturally protected I speak abundance to your life. I speak favor to your life. Your love for Jesus is waxing hotter and hotter. You will see results this week. Supernatural testimonies this week. On Sunday, you will be the first to stand and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. God bless you together. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you on Sunday.
subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin